To Father a Nation, written by Farid Dondi. It concerns the period in history in Bangladesh and the subcontinent between 1970 and 1975. Giving birth to a country is heroic. You know, that, that, is, that is the premise of the play, to what it means to have a brand new country and what, where that leads. It, it looks at the whole history of that time, uh, which is extremely complicated and very multi-layered. But it's also told through the story of a couple who find themselves on opposing sides. Yes, our children's future, the respect of our language, our people, culture. And our religion. Religion of our children and our grandchildren. Who will not inherit slavery to the arrogance of the Punjabis. I play Bashira and she is the wife of a colonel. Colonel Saifuddin Akbar of the East Pakistan Rifles. You know me. Hmm. I was born into the army. Hmm. The army has been the saviour of Pakistan. <laughs> okay, Yaya Khan may not be the best military commander, but where would Pakistan be without him? Hmm? I'm living in the cantonment in East Pakistan with my wife Bashira. And uh, it concerns our relationship and the turbulent times that we live in. My character has a, a, an amazing journey through the play because she starts off as wanting independence and talking about independence and she goes into actually becoming a freedom fighter, so like a guerrilla. Uh, and she goes out there and fights herself, you which, you know, as a woman is, you know, a big deal. It was, it was, it happened at the time and it's still, you know, not heard about as much. You've turned our house into an ammunition dump. Where do you think you're going? It would look like Colonel Sahib. Where do you think I'm going? Bashira, don't be absurd. When I play General, uh, General, it hasn't given any name in it, but I have loosely based it on General Tika Khan, who was uh, nicknamed Butcher of Bangladesh. Uh, he killed and butchered so many people. An invitation of the British Parliament. And we, as an Islamic State, must challenge it. He had no reply. I gave the command to fire. I am Bengal, the voice of eras past and present. I play the character of Bengal. Essentially, it's the spirit of the land. It's the spirit of all of Bengal and the history and the culture of the entirety of Bengal. I am Bengal. Because it was an era that I didn't know a lot about, because it was a the birth of a country that I didn't know a lot about, I think the first point of call was get to know the history, um, read all of the books, uh, go out into the libraries, the local libraries um, that would have the historical documents on it. Um, and I think then I started, after having that kind of base of knowledge, listening to podcasts um, and people's account, personal accounts of how it happened from both sides. This, this distillation of the um, flags uh, and that interpreted on stage. So you have these little washing lines of different types of fabric as the country evolves. The colours change from the um, just white and the green to the red comes into play. A little bit of the strong yellow, yellow ochre in the corner as well. Um, so you can see and sense the background of the country changing around them. Mostly I'm providing vocals 
and most of them are uh, patriotic songs based on that time to encourage uh, people to uh, save their country. Whenever I'm rehearsing those songs, I got so emotional. So, because my family members, they were freedom fighter. My father was freedom fighter. My grandfather was freedom fighter. So when I was very young, uh, I heard so many real stories from them. When I'm singing, especially into this play, I've, I can feel that I'm into that period. It's master's rage, living on crumbs he throws. Was there ever a time like this? Was there never... I'm quite stunned that actually these events happened so recently. 71, you think about the formation of a country and it feels like something that happened ages ago, but actually is quite recent, so all of these things are quite raw. But I think what's clever about it is that it's actually so relevant to where we are in England today with Brexit, basically, and that feeling of being divided as a country and families being pitted against each other. So I feel like it's a reflection of what we're all going through at the moment in some ways. But here is a great opportunity for us not just to bury the past, but to debate the past, to understand what the truths really were, so that newer generations can understand that. And perhaps a story like this is not, is not a sweet pill, it's a bitter pill. It's a very traumatic pill. It has the danger of opening wounds of rekindling old arguments and battles and fears. But in another sense, until we, I don't know if it's the word cleanse, but until we're able to fully come to terms with everything that happened, then and successive generations, we will always live with that fear and burden. Definitely we need to speak about it because this is our history that based on that history so bangladesh is there they made the bangladesh so no way we can forget those stories this is and uh, they are our pride uh, look at the nazi kind of atrocities in germany they are regularly the jewish i mean yeah, people that how they suffered and went i think it's not a question of uh, reviving the old wound it's constantly reminding people that how Human beings can become inhumans time to time. For some of us today, we don't understand the history because we never experienced it. We shouldn't impose the same fear, but we must learn from those incidents so that young people don't need to repeat that again. We don't forget, but we honour, debate, and we find a hope for the future. It was so great. Uh, I came from Bangladesh like recently. I have been there, I've seen movies, I have read about it, but never got the chance to watch it, like, you know, emotionally connect to what happened. But it throughout, like, with uh, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, obviously. Well, but this play, uh, this act was obviously connected me with him personally. I just feel like personally I, I've connected with him much more. What did you think about the play? I really, really liked it and it was like I went with people who didn't know anything about the history and I think it was very accessible for people that didn't really know and I really liked the music as well. So it was really, I really loved it. it was really I thought it was excellent. Um, they've asked me for my feedback and I said I thought it should be longer. And I liked the way they changed the flags. I wasn't expecting that, and using the washing lines to, um, to, to, as a background so that you got a sense of change of, of situation without having a lot of shifting of scenery, and uh, I enjoyed it, I followed it all the way through. I really liked the performance, I think it was really good, and what I appreciated the most about it was that it really tackles the difficulty of national building with all its complexity, and I found it very nuanced. Uh, I think it was about a nation, but it was not nationalistic, and that's really interesting. Joy Bangla! Joy Bangla! Joy Bangla!